Hi there, I'm Odessa and I just wanted to introduce myself real quick and um, give you a little insight on why I did the videos of how to make a Gia Taco. Actually it's not how to make a Gia Taco, it is how I make a Gia Taco. Um, because there are some of the things that I do that are not really like the traditional sense of doing a, a Gia Taco. So, That'll be covered in the videos, but um, I've been painting since I was probably four or five years old, and I've been a professional artist now since 1993. I do not consider myself to be a master Giataco-ist, uh, but it's a fun thing to do, and since I live on the coast, I have a lot of fish uh, available to me. I have neighbors who fish, I have a brother who has a crab fishing boat, I have um, a husband who loves to fish, and I was on a boat since before I could walk. So it just seemed like the natural thing, uh, progression. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, and if you have any questions, be sure to contact me either through Facebook or um, my email is on my Facebook page. So. Um, I hope you enjoy it and learn something, and by all means, experiment and have fun. Okay, so this is my usual setup for tools that I use. Um, the usual clean-out bucket, paints, brushes, paper towels, or hand towel. Um, the brushes you'll see are a little more worn and and shredded than normal and that's because I used these previously in my acrylic painting on canvas and I didn't want to throw them out and they actually come in handy with fish rubbings because you're gonna eventually if you're using real fish you're gonna have times where the fish is slimy or dirty or um, and you need a brush that you can really clean and then um, for paints I like to use regular old acrylic paint thin down um, sometimes fabric paint, they have some really good fabric paints with metallics in them or pearls. And then um, also airbrush paint is good. And the reason that airbrush or fabric paints work is because they're thinner than regular acrylic paint and you're going to want the paint to be the consistency of, say, an ink. Um, because that's what they originally used to make the Atatakus. So there you have it. There's the tools and you can gather those and get ready for uh, your first Hiyotaku.